February 2nd, 1986. Superstars in the Superstation TV taping. This is a match I have never, until this moment, have ever seen. I've been a lifetime fan of the Rock and Roll Express since uh, the summer of 80, 1986. You never want to see your favorites, your heroes, whether it's singles or teams, ever lose. It would be disheartening. And this is why I avoided watching this match. And the Rock and Roll Express versus the Midnight Express have always been the most fantastic, entertaining tag team matches above any match you can possibly think of or have ever seen. And ironically, I was not disappointed with this one. This was a very hard-fought match between the team of the Midnight Express, Bobby Eaton and Dennis Condry, and the Rock and Roll Express, Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson. It was at uh, Atlanta at the Omni, a TV taping uh, called Superstars of Superstation. Apparently it was taped on February 2nd and aired February 7th, five days later it aired. I avoided watching this because I did not want to see how the Rock and Roll Express actually lost the titles to the Midnight Express. This was a really, really good match. Hard fought. Everything you can imagine, these two teams, they did it. Yes, and Jim Cornette at ringside in a, in a red tuxedo with the tennis racket. You wonder, you know the tennis racket did come into play. I, again, I, I've, I've avoided for so many years of watching this match. And I'm ironically disappointed that I did not watch this match. I should have. I just didn't want to see the, the, my favorite team lose. Um, it, was, it, was a, it was a seesaw battle, back and forth, everything. That, I mean, uh, they did double drive. Uh, Rock and Roll did double drive kicks on both Bobby and, and Dennis. Um, even um, Bobby and tried his Alabama Jam, and with the help of Dennis Condre. Oh, wow. Everything you can imagine, these two teams, they did it. It was a very hard-fought match. Well, how this ended, <laughs> did I want to blame how Jim Cornette will interfere? No. <laughs> I'm surprised. This I would blame on Ricky Morton. <laughs> um, they double drop kick both Dennis and Bobby out. And <laughs> they uh, get a hold of a, a, a belt strap. And they want and they pull Jim Cornette in. <laughs> David Crockett at ringside. David Crockett joining Giovanni doing commentating. I always love those two listening. Those two, good lord, <laughs> they're fun. They're fun, so fun to watch. I listen to David Crockett yelling, "His get him, get him, whip him like a dog." <laughs> it's historical. But when they begin to, they get they they get Jim Cornette in the ring, going to attack him, with, and apparently they're going to whip him. Uh, Ricky Moore's going to either punch or whip him with a belt. Dennis Condre whacked Ricky Morton on the back or the head and out cold. Jim Cornette then uh, drags Bobby Eaton. During that double drop kick, actually, uh, the uh, referee Pee Wee Anderson he got knocked out of the ring. And funny enough, he went he went to sail th he went to s go through the uh, middle ropes and he had to pull himself out. He did not momentum wise fall through the ropes. You no know, way, Tommy Young would. But uh, uh, there was a ref bump, and once uh, Ricky Morton got knocked out with the tennis racket, Jim Cornette comes and by the arm drags Bobby on top of an out cold Ricky Morton, and the Midnight Express have won the NWA World Tag Team Titles. <laughs>